real quick, guys. I gotta. Uh, I'm gonna go over something real quick. I have a PT Cruiser set up. I'm fixing to go over a subscriber. Well, I hope he's a, a subscriber. Uh, question: He have a PT Cruiser uh, 2002 model. Uh, he's trying to get it to start. It's actually starting, but it's only running on two cylinders. He told me only cylinders one and four are firing. Okay. <laughs> with this being a four cylinder engine that means he is missing two cylinders okay so before he go out and waste some money on say a computer or igni an ignition core i'm gonna go over the some diagnosis or some diagnostics with him okay so what i'm gonna do first is uh we're gonna go over to the computer we're gonna look at the wiring diagram you're gonna need a wiring diagram. I always have a wiring diagram at your disposal because you need to know what pins and what terminals you are actually testing. Okay. Now this is a 06 model, meaning it's a Gen 2. Your 02 model is basically a Gen 1. Different kind of computer and everything, but the theory and the thought process is the same. Okay, it's basically the same. So without wasting time, man, we're gonna go straight to the wire diagram. We're gonna, we're gonna go over a few things real quick. Let's get with it, man. All right, guys. I'm here at the wiring diagram. I have a diagram up for a 2002 PT Cruiser 2.4 liter engine. All right, guys. All right, ASD. Let's start with the ASD. What we're looking at actually, or what we're gonna focus on, is the ignition core. As you can see, the connector to the ignition core is only three wires, okay? One wire is this dark green and orange wire, which is coming from the ASD. Let me stroll up so you can see the ASD. You know how ASD work, or you should know how ASD work. It's not powered at all times, okay? If you turn the ignition on, 12 volts will travel through this through the coil ASD automatic shutdown relay it's going to fire off a lot of things but again it's not going to stay fired up if the engine is not running so if you turn the car on for maybe two or three seconds 12 volts should flow to this circuit so what I want you to do guys uh, do that uh, go to your car this wire is dark green and orange go to your ignition core turn the switch on you should have power right here for maybe two seconds use a test light okay now let's talk about the other two wires because keep in mind this is a three wire terminal the other two wires are driver wires okay this right here represents a computer the PCM okay now you're gonna have a uh, uh, this look like a dark blue and tan wire alright that is connector number one alright that should fire off uh, coils or cylinders one and four so we're just gonna say assume this is one and four and this side is two and three okay so this uh, is this black and gray this black and gray wire uh, represents the other side of the core keep in mind your core is one unit but it has two cores in it which fires off two cylinders okay one and four and cylinders two and three alright so what you need to understand is uh, because this is a duty cycle ground it's not going to be ground all the time the computer will duty cycle this signal to fire off the coils alright so basically we need to get to the car in a second but I want to make sure you understand go to your ignition core connector verify that you have 12 volts right here when you turn the key on now well I have to show you a different way on the car as far as uh, verifying that this duty cycle you can use a Nord light uh, I like to use a test light you can use a I, I'm, I tend to use a test light to verify if this PCM is doing its job of delivering the duty cycle grounds to fire off the coils okay so basically what you're telling me because one in four is working this is one in four you're actually getting the duty cycle ground from the controller to pin one of the connector alright now C C1 represents connector one your car only gonna have two connectors at your PCM and uh, by the way that is pin three of your C1 connector if you ever have to uh, go in and check circuits okay this is three represents pin three and this one is uh, looks like pin 11 okay we're on the same connector connector one pin 11 uh, is your other duty cycle ground to cause two and three all right you're saying you're getting power you're getting spark from one and four so let's concentrate on this one right here okay this dark gray and looks like a black and gray wire all right so 
Well, basically, we're going to get to the car because I want to show you something. But this could be your problem. And if this is not your problem, meaning the connection from the computer to the core, then you merely have a core that's uh, not delivering its spark or doing its job. OK, but don't go and replace this core just yet. And definitely don't go and replace this high dollar PCM just yet. What I'm about to do, we're going to go to the car now. I got to go to the ad break real quick, guys. Uh, so be patient. Let this ad play. And uh, we're going to go. When I get back, we're going to be at the car. And we're going to go over a few things. All right? Stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Welcome back. We are at the car. Now, we're, gonna, we're talking about, uh, I've already was at the computer. I went over some computer-related things with you. Uh, Ram Can 2. Ram Can, Can 2. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But he has a... a a O2 model PT Cruiser. O2 model. Now that's a generation one, okay? This is a generation two PT Cruiser. It's actually a 06. Uh one of the main differences between the two cars uh is computer. This computer will look like this. Your PCM will look uh something like this. You're only gonna have two connectors on it. Alright. So what I'm gonna do, let's go to the car. I'm at the car actually. So let me go over a few things with you real quick, okay? Now like I said before earlier, your car utilize the waste spark setup, okay? Which means uh, you're going to fire, this coil is, has two coils built in it, all in the same housing, okay? Here's the connector I was telling you about on the coil that we spoke about earlier. It's only three wires, okay? The center wire is ASD. That's what powers the coil, all right? The other two are simply uh, driver wires coming from the PCM. All right, so before you start, uh, pretty much, uh, I hate to use guessing, but before you start uh, replacing computers or anything like this, let's do this. Okay, now, we've already distinguished. Uh, your car going to fire off core cylinders one and four at the same time. It's going to fire off cylinders two and three. Okay, according to your complaint, you're only getting spark from one and four and not two and three. And uh, I tried to answer your question without giving a direct answer because there is no direct answer until you find out, uh, until you diagnose it, okay? So what you was leading to was, uh, do I think your computer has failed? Could be, all right? But what we want to do first is verify uh, you're getting a signal from the computer. Now, here's one way I do this. I'm not sure this is in the book, and I'm not sure... Uh, this is just an old mechanic trick I employ. Okay, now we have we have come to the conclusion that pin the center pin is ASD. All right, so you know that should be power supply. All right, I have my test light here. All right, now you know how ASD work. If you don't, ASD is not going to be powered at all time. Basically, when you turn the key on, the ASD will fire everything. The computer will look for RPM from the crank sensor, which tells the computer that the car is running. And essentially leave everything on. If it doesn't see that the car is running, it will shut everything off. Uh, ASD, automatic shutdown relay. Okay, you don't want stuff running if the car is not running. That's uh, one of the ASD features. All right, so uh, basically what you can do is take your test light, put the lead on ground, uh, have somebody turn the car to run. You should get power right there. Okay, we have power right there. So what I want to get to is your problem. Okay, let's check uh, the duty cycle ground coming from the computer. Now, I have my test light lead on positive. Okay, what I'm going to do, remember the two outside terminals are uh, a duty cycle ground from the computer, which fires the core. All right, so if you're one and four, we're just going to check them both anyway. You have one and four working, you're not getting sparked from two and three. Let's check this one first. I don't know which color this is, but we went over that in the on the computer clip, on the wiring diagram. Okay, so I have my test light right here. I have the lead on positive and this one on negative. Now I'm going to spin the car over. This should light indicating that that duty cycle ground is coming back and forth from the computer. All right, let's do it and see what happens. Try to get y'all a view. Hopefully y'all can see that. Here's my hand. I'm going to uh, stick it in here and start the car. Let's get it. All right, let's spin the car over and see if this test light light indicating duty cycle ground. Here's my hand. I'm going to turn the key. Let's do it. Now, as you saw, that was flashing. Okay, so that indicate uh, 
core one and four or two and three i don't know because i can't see the color of the wire it should be firing okay in other words you're getting a signal from the computer now let's check the other side okay because i don't want you replacing a high dollar computer for absolutely nothing guy so verify that you're getting this duty cycle uh ground driver's side ground to the core all right we're gonna check the other side let's get it you see that they both lighting both sides are lighting indicating that your computer is sending its duty cycle ground to fire the cores okay now if that's the case you merely have uh an internal core core coming apart okay if you getting asd is power and you're getting duty cycle ground from the controller and your core is still not working delivering the spark that's needed to run the engine then you have a shorted out core now let's assume you're not getting you're only getting one uh from this side which goes to one and four which is your actual complaint you're not getting this one this side okay what you have to do my friend is I'm not going to say ohm because ohm, you can have one strand of wire and pass an ohm test. So you're going to have to load test the wiring from your computer to this wire right here. As you can see, this travels through a, a lot of harnesses. Now, with your O2 model, like I said, your computer may look something like this, okay? I've had bad experience of uh, controllers getting a lot of oil inside the connectors, inside the cavity. That oil comes from... Um, mainly your oil pressure sending unit. I have a video I'm going to put right here. Y'all go check that video out. I talk about why that controller is getting a lot of oil in it. It pretty much uh, ruins ruins the controller and the wire harness is ruined unless you can clean it all out. I haven't had much luck doing it that way. But I want to stay on topic. So, guy, uh, we covered, I tried to split it in half, all right? We talked about uh, after you verify that ignit uh, module is doing its job, go from there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the computer. We're gonna talk some more, okay? Stay tuned, I'm gonna go to air break. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. I will be right back. All right guys, so there you have it. Uh, we are on the hypotheticals right now. Assuming you're not getting that duty cycle ground between pin 31 of the PCM and pin 3 of your core. What you need to do is a load test. If you don't understand load, I got a video. Actually, I already recorded, recorded it. I, doesn't, I haven't uploaded it yet. But let's for now, let's do an ohm test. We're going to assume your strands and your wires are all good. You need to ohm from pin number 11 of connector 1 of the PCM to pin number 3 of your ignition core. If you have proper good connection between those two points and you still not getting duty cycle ground uh, at the connect of the core, then yes, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, you likely have a PCM that's failing out on you. All right. <laughs> Make sure your PCM ground points are connected real good. Make sure all your ground points are good before you go to doing this. I forgot the, I left that out. But. From what we just checked at the car, we based uh, our diagnosis off of your complaint. If you have if from point A to point B, which is from the PCM to the core, if that wire from this to this is good, then yes, you have a shorted out uh, PCM. Okay, so now, but on the flip side of that, if you're getting your duty cycle ground, at this point on the connector and your duty cycle ground here then yes your PCM is fine you just got a shorted out core under the assumption that you're getting power supply at uh, the ASD alright guy, I gotta run I hope that helps you man um, I tried to uh, I, wanted, I, I wasn't gonna be able to type all this out to you in the form of a text to answer your question so I figure I'd make a quick video and uh, I hope that helps you man whichever one you need be it the core or the PCM uh, at least you have a better peace of mind knowing you replaced the right part. Okay, and glad I can help. Thanks for the question. Thanks for watching. Um, for uh, anybody else, uh, comment and subscribe. Uh, if you got any questions, try to leave them. I will try. I'm not going to guarantee I can get to every one of them like this in this form, but I will give it my best shot. Uh, and I appreciate you watching, man. Give the video a big thumbs up. I heard that helps the video grow. And it also helps the channel grow. So give the video a thumbs up and share it. If you know anybody with a PT Cruiser having the same issue, it could be a no start. 
It's the same way you test a no start. If you're not getting spark, test it this way. Okay, the same theory applies. All right, again, thanks for watching. Come and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.